so it started storming here about 15, 20 minutes, 20 minutes ago. Um, you will hear thunder in the background tonight. Um, it has been extremely loud several times, either as or immediately um, preceding the thunder. The TV up here on the wall has flickered from the electrical interference. So we're gonna see how this goes. Now, thankfully, everything that I'm operating from is plugged into like an industrial grade rack mounted surge protector. So I'm good. Um, but yeah, if like, if Elena, Lollipop, Zundefron just suddenly, if they vanish, um, relative to me, they live over there, like a few miles. And if I disappear, it's a whole nother story. That's a, that's a completely different story. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't want a literal, we don't want to literally be Zunderstruck tonight. No, that's, that's purely figurative speech. That's, that's not, that's the wrong kind. That's the wrong kind. Um, but what we are going to do is we're going to hang out we'll see how this goes. Maybe ride this out. I still need to get a battery back up in here because I haven't done that yet. Um, but I, I need other stuff in here too. Um, like an actual proper rack, like the table rack thing is bothering me. I need something with wheels and made of metal and not like plywood and particle board. Anyway, um, it's group therapy night. So if you have something that you would like to talk about, feel free, bring it. If you would like to join us in voice, you're more than welcome to. Uh, all you have to do is jump into the Discord. Um, once you're in the Discord, we have a stream chat lobby that you can join. And then you can, we'll, one of us will pull you into, um, pull you into the, the, the on-air voice with us. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think, I think that's just about everything. Um, just real quick, um, Friday we're doing Friday Night Shooty Fights, doing Fortnite. Sunday, uh, because fuck Tom, I'm playing Boyfriend Dungeon. Uh, and then Monday I'll be back in, uh, Final Fantasy XIV. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, trying to do MSQs. Um, alright, I think that's... I think that's it. I'm excited to uh, to see you play Boyfriend Dungeon. I'm. I figured you would be. I figured you would be. I mean, I downloaded it myself, so. Let's see. All right, let's do the the nice chill piano station. Which also probably surprises nobody. No, I'm not. I'm a, a game that's centered around being lewd. Say it ain't so. I, I will say I did not buy it on Steam. Well, I mean, you have Game Pass, so... Right. At least you didn't have to pay money for it. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Well, let's start with you then, since you're here. Um, how's your week been so far? Huh? Very Sorry. fucking tiring. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Like I'm surprised Hi, I'm not Amy. asleep right now. Yeah, uh, it's it's been kind of an exhausting week so far. Yeah, and I have to go into the office tomorrow, which I'm really not excited about. Uh, I just yeah, we finally got word on. Was it this past Friday, Lollipop, that we got word that um, our folks were going back home? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I believe that was uh, like, either last Friday or Monday or something. Yeah, it was like so stupid that your folks were ever not home, but I agree. I agree. Um and that was a VP decision. Um but that VP has obviously taken the advice of senior staff and at their discretion has sent the people in their division home. I appreciate that and I, I get that people make mistakes and I'm glad that they are at least fixing their mistakes. I just Well, let's not get too hasty. <laughs> I don't know that they. I don't know that it's a mistake that they're fixing, and I use quotes here only because I don't think they perceive it that way. But we'll we'll see how things go. You know, they're like fine. pushing for us to be in there more in my office, which is uh, super. Yeah, that makes no mis not a, not a no fan. sense to me. It's it's a military thing, apparently. 
Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's a military thing to risk exposure. Okay, gotcha. Right? Yeah. I, I, um. Yeah. I just, I just have to know Chris was distracted, or I just have to let everyone know Chris was distracted for a second because he was, uh, it's a so wet out there, the frogs are trying to come inside. And, uh, the goodest boy was considering whether this thing was food or not. <laughs> don't, don't let Krako know that, uh, Elliot's getting a hankering for frog legs. <laughs> I think we should all let Krako know that he's getting a hankering for frog legs. Keeps Krako humble. Puts him in his place. He, it keeps, to it be keeps fair, he on wasn't his toes. Trying to, he <laughs> oh. wasn't eating it when I saw it. He was just yelling very loudly at it. But Well, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I eat you? I just I just want to eat you, small thing. Are you are you not snack? Be snack. <laughs> Hoy, small fry. Okay. <laughs> not snack. Why fit in mouth? That's true. It's true. It's true. Uh So, yeah. Same, same, Aunt Bubba. They pushed ours back to uh, October 16th. And I will be very surprised if October 16th actually is when anything happens. But we'll see. Yeah, I'll, I'll be especially surprised here if that happens, considering how bad things have gotten once again. Considering what yeah, so, state we're in? Yeah. So we're at, we're at one day a week or two days per pay period that we have to be in the office. Um... And if uh, if my our government person had her way, uh, we would have to be in the office at least two days a week, probably more, because she has to be there two days a week or three days a week. And so, you know, why why don't we or something like that? Yeah, sure. That so, that so, makes perfect sense. Mis right? Misery yeah, loves I company, I guess, is the thought process. Yes, but it's like you, you know, you're you're a GS fifteen, which is like. One level below um, SES, which is whatever. Like you're 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 high up. You you have more responsibilities than we do. <laughs> We're just lowly contractors. Yeah. Yeah, we have to be in every other week, but they're they did make it sound like um, we'll have to be vaccinated by October 11th or October 16th, whenever the back is. Yeah, we had to um, we had to upload a picture of our vaccination card for the for the place I actually work, not the not where the contract is. Yeah. They haven't asked anything of us of the vaccinated, but they said if you're unvaccinated, you need to have a short talk with HR. So you'd have what? A short you need to have talk. a short talk with HR. Oh, which is probably them telling you that you have to get vaccinated without telling you you have yeah. to get vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> Wolf. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But they've they've said for my team until the CDC quarantine standards change, they don't know uh, how to bring us back together. Yeah. Well, because like, I mean, it's it's transmitted by air, so like you can't you can't be around people and be. In a safe environment. You mean people that are, I don't know, breathing all day long? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing I have trouble doing that sometimes, huh? Right? Yeah, me too. Well, you know, it's fine. I'm, I'm contemplating looking into the booster. Because they're I got, starting to offer it. We can't. I mean, if they go by the eight months, we're not due yet. But I'm definitely, like, paying attention to it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've got asthma, so, like, theoretically. Look into it, because yeah. I was able to get my vaccine early than our age group because of uh, my sleep apnea. Yeah, but no, I was, I have, too. I have friends who were as, who just asthmatic, and they weren't told no. I don't think so, I asked. I think I just, like, signed up. Like they didn't ask specifically what uh, what it was that like I think they didn't ask the specific conditions of why I wanted to get it early. Oh, I wonder if that's a difference with the uh, with states then, because I, I we needed to actually essentially get a doctor's note 
saying that we we needed the vaccine early. Don't don't get well. Me and my doctor would write me, or my PA would def- basically write me anything that I asked her for. So don't don't get me started on on Department of Health contract right now, Sydney, uh, especially if it's the State Department of Health, because um, they're kind of doing an absolute shit job right now. Um, and I say this from the perspective of being married to someone who works at an elementary school where they have to manage their known cases or potential cases Hi, of COVID. So, Hi, yeah. sweet old man. Yeah. Can I help you? DOH contract means nothing anymore, apparently. Yeah, it's... Uh... I'll be I'll be happy when they start doing boosters for immunocompromised because that'll at least be that'll for sure be Zendeferon. That might be Lollipop. So I'll be again the the lag behind one, but I'm okay with that. I'm I'm not even I, I don't even like I'm not immunocompromised and if I get the opportunity to get a, a third I'm 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 going. Like Oh not, yeah. You know. Yeah, absolutely. I just uh, I got I got the shot that's faring the best against the Delta variant so far, and I'm still like, nope, give me a third which shot. One, which one? It's Moderna. Yeah, I believe that, yeah. Sydney. I believe that. Um, yeah, I got the Pfizer, and I think Pfizer just got approved for its booster. Um, so, yeah. Um, yeah, they both did. Oh, did they both? I- I gotta find out, like, since I got J and J, like, can I just get a different one as my base turn? Like, just I don't care. <laughs> like, can I just? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, so Amy in Florida, um, before they released it to everyone, you actually had to have a signed letter from a uh, a healthcare professional to get it before everyone mm-hmm. else. So. Um, you, you could get it, um, before, um, only by the letter. So even if you had, you know, and I think it was, you had to have at least two different comorbidities. Um, but yeah, you don't have to get the same booster as your original shot. Right. Yeah. Um but yeah, I'm I'm glad that you're that you're able to get yours now, Sydney, cuz you're you're in your third trimester and you can do that now. Yay! Yay! Yes. Yay. All the all the vaccinations. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually really kind of happy that my work is like either vaguely insinuating we need it or making people get it because I've heard at least two of the people in that I know aren't vaccinated say that if they they make it mandatory they'll they'll, they'll just go get it. They're not they're not fighting it that hard. Yeah. Our job hasn't said anything about mandating it yet. Not like it not like it affects us at all cuz we don't even go in the office, but No, they haven't. They're just they're reinstating mask mandates, but they haven't said anything about the vaccine yet. Yeah, mask mandates are back in place. Um they're not going to they're not going to mandate the vaccine. Because I already know people at work that won't get it, and it's a shame because they're people that I like, but I no longer have, you know, I don't have that kind of respect for uh, anymore. Because I've last year when I went into the office to go trade in my old laptop to get my new work laptop, um, I had a conversation with uh, someone who was in the office who was essential, and they said that they don't, they're not getting the vaccine. They don't believe in vaccines because they know God will protect them. And I know we're not talking religion, but science exists I watched, for a reason. I watched a TikTok. I watched a TikTok that was about uh, that was that exact exchange. Um, it was it was it was amusing because it was like you know one person going back and forth about it, and they were like, you know they're dead and they're like but god i thought you were going to protect me or that you would take care of me and god was like well i sent you scientists and vaccines and blah blah blah." you know like yeah yeah um yeah sydney beans having them she's having some similar issues at work so um 
where people aren't getting that even though they know they should. I mean, hell, I had that I had this talk with Hidden the other day. And she's she's getting it cuz she's, you know, she's just waiting on having like a set number of days off from work so she can recover from any side effects, but like Wait, Hidden hasn't gotten it yet? No. No. Completely unrelated, but related to that previous conversation we had the other day. Those chocolate muffins aren't bad. They're not like the best, oh my god, chocolate muffins ever. But for vegetables made into chocolate muffins, they're actually kind of okay. Are they? And they're microwavable. Yeah. Then they're from... So, we, I see you. we took the chocolate milk and Elena went above and beyond. She put not only the Nestle's quick powder in the chocolate milk... Did you put the Hershey syrup she, in too? She put the Hershey syrup in too. It's like, oh my god, this is the good fucking oh, chalky yeah. milk right here. Good shit. Um, Jackson says hello, by the way. <gasps> He's such a hello, good Jackson. boy. He's such a sweet old man. He's under my desk currently because I have not fed him yet. Well. So he is currently wasting away to nothing. Um. Sydney, there are they were from Costco and they're frozen and they are let me go fucking find the name of them because all I'm gonna call them is vegetable muffins and that's not gonna help you at all. But I needed to spend oh, more money at Costco to get Instacart to deliver it to me and these were there, so that that, ha that happened. Garden lights, veggies made great, double chocolate muffins made with zucchini and carrots. A hundred and gluten free, a hundred and ten calories per serving. Okay, garden what? Garden. Oh, no. <laughs> she goes to reopen the freezer. <laughs> Give her a sec. Garden lights. L A T E S. All right. Well, let's, Veggies made great. Let's let's let me give me a second. I'm gonna sign into the Costco website <laughs> with my Costco account and go to grocery. Sorry. Need a few things from the grocery. Open a window and the breeze rolls in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got there. You got you there. You got me. You got me. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, they're having a sale. Hold on. Okay. I can't I cannot make this up. I'm looking at the grocery section. They're having a sale on cran raspberry. I'm, I'm not even fucking joking. I can't make this shit up. I'm not that funny. Uh was it Costco? Costco. I, got them on? I think it was Costco. It was Costco. Yeah, it, it had to be Costco cuz that's where uh, that's where Hidden works and she saw him at work. Um, maybe it's a little the... weird because they're not Kirkland signature. Where's the same day delivery thingy? Um, what you mean the Instacart? Well, the, like Costco has one directly on their website that takes you to oh. their own branded version. I'm trying to find it. Blueberry oat sounds pretty good. Same day delivery. There it is. Good lord. Wait, Costco has their own grocery delivery now? Well, it's they they Costco does delivery, but it's through Instacart. So it's a branded okay. version. So like uh okay, I just want to make sure. So like it's 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 Costco branded like this, but it's Instacart. That is very Instacart. Yeah. Like <laughs> yeah, I I was only inquiring because we literally only use Instacart for Costco. So if there was, so if you, for I was it? gonna say, do you, if you have, um, a Costco membership, do you have to pay for the delivery? You do still have to pay for the delivery because it it comes through Instacart as a separate service. Gotcha. So yeah, my Instacart it, membership is. <sighs> still worthwhile it's still the it's still the same thing it's like you like instacart does their fees and their markups and everything else but this here they are right here 
Garden lights, veggies made great, double chocolate mush muffins made with fresh zucchini and carrots. You they're said, not bad. They're not they're bad? Not, like, they, so, like, for Sydney, double we gotta chocolate take you muffins... To, we gotta take you to Costco. They are not, like, the most best chocolate muffins ever, but I wasn't expecting them to be because they're made of vegetables. Right. Yeah. If I didn't know they were made of vegetables, I wouldn't have thought they were made of vegetables. They were actually pretty okay. And the fact that they're microwavable makes them pretty good. Oh, yeah, they do have them at the, uh... Oh! They have them at the, the Target, and we can get them. And they have more flavors there. And smaller packs, which... Oh, no, that's a... Yeah, that's a smaller pack. It's a six-pack, yeah. so it, you don't have to, like, commit to is... 20 of them. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So you can try one, and if you like it, then you can go get, like, a bigger one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta we gotta take Sydney. We'll we'll take Sydney and go get some muffies. We will go get some chalky muffies and some some Nana chalky chip muffies and some blueberry muffies. Actually, those blueberry old ones that looks pretty legit, man. I'm not gonna lie. As Sydney would say, I'm not even I'm not gonna lie to you right now. That's that's pretty legit looking. Like, look at the blue. Look at the blue in those berries. A little bit of oak cluster right there. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so now that I have distracted the entire stream cluster your to oats. be food related. Oh, so, uh, Listen, so an everyday stream this, then. I would say for this group, food is therapy. Let's be real. Oh, so yeah. Oh, it's fine. Hands down. Hands down. All right, so we, gotta, we can get that. All right. Yeah, we could do that. That works. Oh, uh, yes, we need to take Sydney to the Costco. Um, there was... Uh, there was, that I saw, there was blueberry oat, chalky chip, or double chocolate chip, and then banana chalky chip. Let me see if I can... Let me go back. See what other ones they have. Oh, they they also have a superfood veggie cake, which does not look interesting to me at all. And then they have a spinach egg egg white frittata cup thing. I mean, that's that's not very interesting to me. If I wanted spinach egg white, I could get spinach and make that myself. Yeah. For me, it's the hiding the vegetables and things that I I actually eat. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, Bean. Nanny chocolate chip. Keep frozen, individually wrapped. Net weight 12 ounces, 340 grams. It's alright, Sydney. We'll take you to Costco. It's like... Imagine, imagine everything that you love about Sam's Club, but like... Hot dogs instead of the pizza. And, chicken. and also the rotisserie chicken. The five ninety nine rotisserie chicken, and really, like, they lose money on the chicken. Like they've uh -huh. they've said it time and again that they keep the the chicken at five ninety nine. At a, they sell it at a loss purely to bring people into the store. Which I mean, it's the same thing with the hot dogs. Oh yeah, they won't raise the prices of the hot dog. Yeah, I'll, I'll spend a buck fifty on that hot dog. Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All beef kosher hot dog. Oh my god. They're so good, and honestly, um, like all of the Kirkland Signature stuff is really good. Uh, in fact, yeah. they they have a policy that they won't brand something. It really, yeah. Costco is the target of wholesale. Yep, Costco is to Sam's Club what Target is to Walmart. Yep. Yep. That is. A <gasps> I love you, Dommy. Love you so much. Hi, Dom. Hi, Dom. Have have fun at the Worky Works. Um, well, it finally calmed down out there. How's it doing down y'all's way? It seems to be going it's past. Still it's still loud, though. It's thundering, but it's not overhead anymore. It's just yeah. moving on. Time to eat. Mm, nom, 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 nom. 
Let's see what we got here. I need to stop taking the cult creatures uh, mission. That makes me sad. I am gonna do. I'm gonna do some of the OG. The OG, the good stuff. But Bean, but Bean, Keith's the cat cow. What? Oh. Well, Bean put a link to an Instagram video in the Bubba chat. And, well, I think it's just best for you to see it. Okay. Look at the chonky boy. Aww. Look at him go. Look Aww. at him go. He's so chonk. Five is his limit. Look at him. He's like, rawr. Meow. He is the very lord's boy. Look at him go. Chonk, chonk, chonk. He kind of reminds me of Meowgy. So, Sydney and Coco's mom... She has this cat that they just call him Meow for short, but his name is Mr. Meowgy. Aw. And I affectionately call him the fat fucker. Cause, As you do. Because, um, well, there's no the really... fat fucker. Yeah. It's <laughs> oh, Lord, he coming. So this... This is that's Meowgi, the fat fucker. Oh, I see you, Viv. I'm, I'm watching you, watching you. Viv, Viv I love your face. Man. We've been talking about food and cats, like, like. Of course, yeah, of course, of course Viv's here. Course Viv's here. And these are these are two areas of his expertise. But mm, that's Meowgi. He's very chonky. He's very sweet. In the brief time that I, yeah, like twenty five pounds, like he, like he's legit. He is, he is a hefty boy. Um, but I got to meet him last year, um, like actually a little over a year ago, um, when we went to Louisiana for Andrew and Sydney's wedding. Um, so we we got to Louisiana. And I finally got to go to um, Sydney's mom's house. And I'm like, I, I've been hearing tales of this cat for months, right? So I'm like, I have to meet this cat. <clears throat> like, I'm, I already love him. I have to go meet him. So I go in the house and like, there's, there's the cats and then there's the dog who the dog is very much like, Either you are the dog's people or you're not, okay? And the dog will be very protective, um, but still a good dog. I went inside a couple of times during this one day. I think it was during the uh, the rehearsal day. Um, I went back and forth in and out of the house a few times. Uh, the last time I was in the house, um, I had one of the cats sitting next to me. Meowgi was on me, and the dog was backed up to me so I could scritch the butt. That sounds about right. That's what happens to me a lot of times when I go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Bubba. What are you doing? You a good old man? He's such a good boy. He's a hungry boy. I'm always... I am, I'm a horrible mama, because... You haven't fed him in an minutes. hour late. No, I'm an hour late feeding him. Oh, okay. He's actually being really good. He hasn't started barking at me. I'm surprised. Oh. Maybe he's just having maybe he's having like a like a midweek slump. Maybe. I listen, I just I I I have a I have a way with animals, you know. It's my animal I magnetism, I guess. I love Elliot when I go around animals. Yeah. Oh, Elliot's well, he's such, the best boy. He's such a good boy though. He's a nervous boy though, so I was actually not sure if 
he was going to take the thunder or not. I walked in the house, you handed me a string cheese, so, like, he's like, oh, this person has cheese, obviously they're okay. <laughs> and, I mean, admittedly, I'm... I, wasn't I, like, the first, like, outsider person to come interact directly with him since he moved in with y'all? Yeah. Because, like, up until that point, just being there... Quarantining the and shit. Was quarantining and shit, so, like, the only people that he interacted with, like, actually interacted with were the three of y'all. Yep. So... Viv's playing that free trial, you know, of the critically acclaimed MMORPG from Square Enix. Yeah, it's a lot of is he having good? Is he, is he having good? Is he having a good having time? Good. Well, wow. he's he's. I, I think he's he's going to start it later. I don't know that he's actually started yet, but he says he's going to go do some dishes, and then maybe some fourteen shenanigans. He has to let us know if he he decides to go the not free trial route at some point. Mm, he's 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 yet will, to start. We it. will quickly. Invite him mm -hmm, to mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. chaos of Carby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna. He's apparently bugging Maddie in the kitchen now, so I'll be back. Go we give him the foodie that. foods. The pepper dogs. Pepper dogs. Oh, I'm still not over Keith the cow cat and just zoop right over the the wall of toilet paper. Listen, Viv, I I went ahead and got it and I I'm I'm glad that I did. I'm enjoying it. It's been a good time so far. It's been a very good time so far. Do it, Viv, <laughs> cuz then we can invite you to the FC Do and it. give you stuff and make you gear and I can make you a chair and and things. Do it. Let her make you the chair. Be one with the chair. You're just like, zoop, 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 zoop. And I can take him around in the car. Yeah, oh yeah, you can get the tour like I got. I got the tour in the car. Yes. Let me tell you, that, that was a stylish ride. Like my first, my first night... She's just like, get in, losers. We're going to Etherite. And I'm like, all right, let's go. So I go and we're just hitting all the different Etherite spots around so I could like warp to everything. And yeah. Yeah. It was, boy, it was a time. It was, it was something. But I did get to see like just how pretty everything is in that game. Because really, like, I, I know it's not New World, but New World was made, you know this year and 14's been out for several um but still it's still such a pretty game it's very pretty i think it's prettier than new world but that's that's me but that's because i like some of the aesthetics and yeah not a good graphic comparator comparator i'm more of an aesthetic comparer sure sure well we don't know what kind of glam that they have in in New World yet, and you know most of the glam in 14. I also just prefer 14's aesthetic as well, but like I've seen people say that they prefer like even World of Warcraft's looks and stuff like that, like they think it graphically looks better, and I'm just like, I don't see it, but okay. I do like the, uh, the high... The high quality textures that we have in uh, um, in the menus and stuff and the dialogues and stuff in 14. That's nice. That is brand new. Like that came out in the last major patch that we had. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. Like I, I it, it feels like it feels like that I came into the game at basically the perfect time. Like, people were just coming off of Shadowbringers. Like, the hardcore people were, like, done through it, and they were just doing, like, all their side shit at that point. Um, like, all the new... Like, the graphical updates for the UI came out. Hi, Fritz. How you doing, bud? Um, 
Like, I just feel like I, I showed up at just the best time for me to show up and get into this game. And now that yeah, I'm... Yeah, and especially, especially as, like, a streamer, you're doing, um... You're actually, we were actually talking about this in a little bit. If, if you don't actually make it through Shadowbringers by the time your uh, Endwalker comes out, you're actually in a pretty unique spot mm -hmm. because a lot of people care enough about the MSQ that they will at most lurk Yeah. during the first like few weeks or so of the, of the, of the expansion. But if you're not doing the current content, you're not spoiling it for anybody and you, people will still watch what you're doing. That's true. That's true. Fritz, you, man, you're, you're awesome. Whatever you want to do, man, if you want to, I mean, I don't, I don't know what, uh, I don't know what kind of assistance we need right now, but you know, whatever you want to do, man. Sure. I'm very mellow this week. I'm just kind of like, kind of chill. I'm going with it. Also, I had chicken and macaroni for dins, so you know that doesn't hurt. Chicken and macaroni. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. macaroni. Then, okay, I gotta show you all this because this is. This is some good stuff. So it's freaking delicious when you did that. Huh? Oh, when we didn't have penny. Didn't have penny, so you used uh, macaroni, basically. I think it was elbows, but close enough. Hmm. Where's the good stuff? Okay. Yeah, this is new. And it's amazing. So, Stofers. Stofers. Okay. Like we all we Why all Why is it always got to be Stofers? Cuz they cuz they get it right. And they've gotten it right for a very long time. Um but Stouffer's has, because they make really good, like the frozen um, um, mac and cheese, right? So they've taken that, and they've taken it to the next level. Um, so they've swapped out the macaroni noodles for shells, and they've added fried chicken. They make a fried chicken, macaroni, and cheese now. And it is delicious. We had it tonight. And this is the second time we've had it in like a week. Um, it's amazing. It's just fucking fantastic. Cannot recommend highly enough. Like if you just need something that you can either throw in the microwave or throw in the oven... And you don't feel like actually like cooking, cooking. Get you some of this shit. This shit right here is delicious. Oh no. Oh no. Mike, Mike, you. Okay. Ghost, buddy. Mike, oh, okay. buddy, no. Why don't you like mac and cheese? What? I don't like mac and cheese either. Oh. Like, I like very. Like, I like fancy. Mac and cheese, maybe, but like normal, like mac and cheese, where it's just too, and it sticks together. And I don't like elbows. Do I gotta pull out my 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 priest credentials to go and like like forgive y'all for your sins? Is that what's gonna happen now? See, I like the cheese part, but I don't like the elbow shapes. It feels like it's going to choke me. So I will eat the cheese part of the mac and cheese, and Mike can eat the mac part with some other sauce. Viv, okay, first of all, Viv, how did mac and cheese try to kill you last week? Don't, d no, you have to assert your dom, you as the dominant species, okay? You are higher on the food chain than the mac and cheese. Not by much, but enough to where you should be able to assert dominance and remind the mac and cheese where it lies in the 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 eating order, okay? Um I 
like, okay, all right, all right, the lactose intolerance, that's, that's fair. That's, okay, that's fair. Then at that point, yes, the mac and cheese is slightly higher on the food chain than you are. Well, just the cheese, not the mac. The cheese is higher on the food chain, the mac is, is not. Where's my... What is with guys and eating things on dates that they wouldn't normally eat, Christopher? Okay, now hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, now wait a second, wait a second. It's okay. He decided to try something new. Okay, which is no. He knew he didn't like it. I mean, I don't know about Mike, but Chris knew he didn't like Chipotle. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm getting to a point. He decided to try something new, and that is ignore his food instincts, which you know he never does. <laughs> he never ignores his food instincts. I have never seen this man put a condiment on a hot dog in the two years that I've known him. Well, no. Condiments are weird. No, condiments are amazing. Um, no, condiments are weird. So, he decided to try something new, and that new thing was to go against his food instincts because he thought that there was something greater to be had. And here, <laughs> here you are several years later, and he, he was right. Am I wrong? <laughs> I'm out of line, but it's I'm right. <laughs> it's a nice way to put it, but I'm not sure that that's what was happening. <laughs> See, I knew Ghost Buddy and I had things in common. Condiments are meh. Nah. Okay, so a couple of things here. One, Mike, we, Mike, I, I think it's, I think it's your lack of sleep. I think that's what it is. That's all it is. That's that's all it is. What's we, my we, excuse? Because I don't like condiments. You are just contrary. You that's, don't sleep well either, sweetie. Well, that too, but you were just contrary. That's I'm, that's your excuse. I'm really excuse. not just contrary. <laughs> like, You're contrary. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it, Mike, being her, like 90% of her diet is chicken nuggies, but she yeah, does like I, sauce. I don't like sauce. It ruins the chicken nuggets. It makes them all weird textured. Huh. Like, chicken nuggets are the correct texture, and you put sauce on that, and then you're making, like, liquids and solids and semi-solids, and yeah, and then there's too many flavors. Yeah. Also, Zundefron, don't think it, don't think I don't see you in there. Don't think, <laughs> like, like one, one of the two of you turn around and, like, wag your finger at him. Like, just give him one good finger wag. He's been finger wagged. He stuck his tongue out at it, though. Well, the, I'm surprise, surprise. I'm scritching boozer on the head. Oh, what a good boy. Okay, let me tell you. Right, like, right. Like, I eat chicken nuggets because I like the taste of chicken nuggets. Not because I need to taste some other random, like, berry jalapeno spice mouth fire flavor. Okay, first of all, settle down. <laughs> settle down. It's not, it's, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> second of all, second of all. <laughs> I absolutely understand wanting to have the taste of food. Like, just having the taste of the food, I get. On the other hand, I love sauces. I fucking love sauce. I will put sauce on, like, anything. And I know it's sacrilegious. And I know that a good steak shouldn't need sauce. And I make, I like to think... A damn good steak. However, however, I will drown that some bitch in Heinz fifty seven because I love the way it tastes. I just love sauce. I wish Tom so was here. Just like eat the sauce. Don't ruin other things with it. It doesn't ruin it for me. I like the taste of the sauce, and I like the taste of the sauce combined with the other stuff, so it doesn't ruin it for me. Yeah, I'm with Mike. Dry seasoning is okay. 
Yes, but... and and that's fine. That's fine. Like, like a good seasoning. A good seasoning is is always just, um, is is your food should be well seasoned to begin with. So I, I'm, sauce should never be used as a crutch. You should never use sauce as a way to add flavor to food that doesn't have flavor. Your food should already have flavor. Sauces should add to or enhance that. They should not be the primary flavor vehicle for the bite. It always ends up with fucking food with us. Why do we always end up talking about food? I don't know what... I I don't know. We always talk about food. So much food. God, I love fucking food. Oh, that's I, great. Okay, I can't. I can't figure out the peanut butter one, Mike, because I love peanut butter. But I'm. I will eat beef if it's like my only choice, or it's mixed in things. But I am a chimkin and bacon person i am not a beef person okay what, what i missed so okay so here's Food. here's here's well yeah all right so let me give you let me give you the quick rundown um okay um we're 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 now divided into two camps of uh sauces versus seasonings um where some people don't want sauce on things don't have condiments etc and some people like just like the seasonings and then there are some of us who while we still love our food to be well seasoned we also like to drown our shit in sauce Mm -hmm. um and then we had the whole mac and cheese talk so viv talked about how mac and cheese tried to kill him last week because we found out that mac and cheese is actually slightly higher on the food chain than he is um what he's lactose intolerant Uh, oh right yep 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 um and then the cheese is the noodles are not Right, right, right. The cheese is higher on the food chain. So the mac and cheese is a is a like think of mac and cheese as sort of a symbiotic relationship. Like they 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 sort of like live together. The cheese is sort of the host. Like the noodle is just there. The noodle just lives there. The cheese is really the host. Mike also doesn't like things that are extremely cheesy. He loves the noodles, doesn't like things that are too gooey cheesy. Doesn't he's not a big um, fan of condiments, does not a big fan of sauces. So Mike and I couldn't eat food together, got it. I don't Basically. like condiments or sauces, but I like cheese. So we decided that Mike will eat all the noodles and I will eat all the cheese. Right, exactly. Ex- noodles are a cheese delivery system. Correct. And and bread is a butter delivery system. Bread is a butter delivery system. Peanut butter delivery system. Bread is bread is a yeah, bread is an anything delivery system, really. Bread is just a delivery system. Whether that is like butter or peanut butter or jellies and jams, preserves, or fucking, like, whatever you put on top of a sandwich. Bread is a delivery system. It is simply a means to an end. It's delicious. And I, in to quote Oprah Winfrey, I love bread. But bread is a delivery system. Good bread is also good, yes. Absolutely. Yes. yes. That does make a difference. An Italian loaf in one go with no butter. I just I I gotta have something moist, you know? I need the moisture. <laughs> moist. <Keep it> moist. <laughs> Watch it, you three. What? What? Uh, I what what? I don't I don't understand. What's uh-huh. Problem? Uh-huh. Um <laughs> the carbs so in my, the my experience. Pro- my problem is that, like, because of my lap band, bread doesn't like me. Yeah. Um, and so, like, as much as I would love to eat all of the bread, I can't. Yeah. But but Allie and I are, are in similar camps where we will eat just about anything that we want. Like, there's just all kinds of stuff. And I will, I will, I will just drown stuff in sauce simply because I like sauce. I just... I. God, I love sauce. Oh, I love Why? sauce so much. What? I'm so confused. Sauce, you know, the stuff that you put on the food. No, 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 no. I Sorry. Know. I know. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Why aren't... Okay, there we go. It, like, I warped, but it didn't... I didn't move. 
Oh, yeah, that happens sometimes. So I was confused. Do it, Mike, you won't. Let's see, where's my... I also had to reheat my um, caramel macchiato from this morning that I didn't drink when I drank my chai. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, And fun. then I was talking to Maddie and, you know. Yeah. Like you do. Like you do. Um... Ooh, by the way, um, it's been, uh, as of last week, it's been eight years since I got ordained. Oh, yeah, you were telling me that. Yeah, so, let's see. So, yeah, eight years. August of 2013, got ordained. You know, I've performed two ceremonies now, which is two ceremonies, but three licenses. Next time Sydney's here, ask her about that. I got a mind control device. Oh, those are fun. You can send those out on um, um, fleet expeditions. expeditions. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Expeditions. Yeah. Hmm. <sighs> oh, damn it. I opened the menu... Like I, I, I went to the top of the the page on the Stouffer's website because the tab was still open, and I saw French bread pizza. Mm. Oh god! Yeah, see, the only the only kind of pizza I can eat is like New York style or thinner. Yeah, it's very sad. Just because it like the expanding of the the bread. Mm -hmm. And even then, I have to be really careful and really slow when I when I do eat it. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. The three meat French bread pizza, like that's that's the one right there. That's my shit. Throw that some bitch in the toaster oven. I'm really picky on mm. crappy pizza. You're really picky on everything. Be... I'm more picky. I didn't say <laughs> you. I didn't say. I didn't say she was the most picky. I said she was really picky. Ooh, tacos for dinner. That sounds good. What kind of tacos? Chicken, beef, fish. Mmm, fish tacos. That sounds really good. Oh, grouper tacos. Grouper nuggets. Ooh. Grouper nuggets and coleslaw and coconut rice. There's a place here that does just the best grouper nuggets and coconut rice. Oh, that's so good. That sounds terrible, but okay. Hey, don't yuck my yum. That's fair. I just, I mean, then again, I've not come from a uh, place where fish mm. is good regularly. Mm, ground beef tacos. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ohio is not, you know, on the ocean. No, no, it's not. No. And whereas, you know, like the bay, Tampa Bay is like right there. Like I could, if I got up on my roof, I could see the water from my place. It has been a goal at some point to try fish again because I've... I, I feel like it would be different. Oh, and the leftovers for nachos, yes. Okay, all right. So, if you like sour cream, you should make your own. Very, very easy to make your own sour cream. Okay, all you need is a little bit of cultured buttermilk. It has to be. It has to still be cultured. It still has to have active live cultures in it. And you need heavy cream, not heavy whipping cream. Heavy cream. Check the ingredients, make sure there aren't a lot of additives just in like thickening agents and shit like that because the heavy whipping cream adds that. But, but it takes if, away from the cream itself. What if what? What if my buttermilk is redneck and not very cultured? As, listen, as long as it's got shit living in it, it's fine. Um, That's fair. So, what you do is... You take an eight ounce container of heavy cream, okay? And you take a tablespoon, just a tablespoon of cultured buttermilk. Put it in a jar, preferably something like, I'm gonna say 10 ounces or bigger, okay? Because it's the, the air is gonna expand inside this thing as the cultures do their thing and, and you know, work their magic. But you literally just Great. put 
the tablespoon of cultured buttermilk, the eight ounces of heavy cream, close it up tight, shake it around a little bit to work the, the cultures around, and you put it on your counter. You put it on the kitchen counter and let it sit a couple of days. I'm not kidding. Let it sit out for a couple of days. That way, because they're at room temperature, the, the cultures will do their thing. They'll do their all of their chemical processes as they're just going through, and it will thicken it up into sour cream. And it doesn't sour very much. It's more like a creme fraiche. Okay? The point is, after about two days of sitting on the counter, you're done, and then you can put it in the fridge. It is absolutely delicious. The last batch that I made, Bean said, is the best sour cream she's ever had in her life. And literally all I did were just those two ingredients. It's so good. You should try it if you like sour cream. I only like sour cream and baking, so the quality probably does not matter for that. You'd be surprised. Because again, sour creams off the shelf also have like additives and thickening agents and things like that to them. I'm sure. I just you're not going to taste the difference as much as if you were like sour cream. Well, no. Like, on stuff. No, I mean if you baking anything, you're never going to taste it the way that you would taste it straight up. Um, but let me tell you, homemade sour cream. That is the good shit. It is fantastic. God, I love making sour cream. Um, let's see what else? Oh, I made um, I made one time. I made a thing of stir fry jizz, like the the yummy sauce, the white sauce. Yum yum sauce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. You made a thing of what? Stir yum yum sauce. Stir fry jizz. Yum yum sauce. It's the creamy sauce that you can get when you get hibachi. Mm hmm. There's a there's a ginger sauce and then there's the yum yum sauce, mm -hmm. which is creamy I sauce. I do not believe that that is what it's called. It, no, it is. Like you can actually it's, buy yum yum it's sauce. It's called yum yum no, sauce. Not, 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 not the yum yum sauce. The, I believe the yum oh, yum sauce. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not talking about the yum yum sauce. Like she's, she she is she's the perfectly accepting of that. She that's what it looks the word like. Jizz was involved with something, so she's now questioning her everything. I mean. Regardless of whether that's what it looks like, that's not what it's called. <laughs> that's what I call it. Okay, but that doesn't mean that that's what it is called by anybody else. <laughs> that's what I call it. And that's all that matters. Okay, that's, but that's all that matters for like right in the, in this immediate area. Mm. But we are on screen with you, and uh, no. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you're like an overlay. You're like you're like in front of me. You're like way over here. We're like, an overlay. I can, I, yeah, I can, we're like, just an overlay. Like I can put my hand all the way up, and you're still there. Like I can't even touch you. I can't even. I, I can't even. I can't even touch you. Well, not with that attitude, you can't. Well, like you, you're real far. Okay, like I would essentially have to fly to you if I wanted to touch you with any like. Like, without spending an extra day trying to do it. Well, I mean, it's what, like 20 minutes? Well, yeah, yeah that's true. It's only it's 20 minutes. Like, it's only 20 minutes. Yeah. Lollipop, how far is it from, from Tampa to D.C.? Mm, roughly 19.9999999, repeating, of course, minutes away. And see, he's an engineer, so he knows math. So yes. I, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not get too hazy here. I didn't say you know it intimately. You just know it casually. You just know it as a friend. I know it well <laughs> enough to trick rocks into doing it. That's, yeah. I, I don't even know it that well. I just, I know it well enough to know how to do it where someone else has already tricked the rock into doing the math for me. That's it. That's all I know. <laughs> and That's we it. work at That's a credit union, folks. <laughs> I'm just <pointing. laughs> leaving the, that out there. We do financial calculations in our software. Software that we <laughs> touch. In fairness, we don't really do much of the calculations. The core banking system does anything calculated. We basically just take the values and move them from one place to another. Yes, but we arrogantly then say that we want to make our own. Well, in fairness, our, our core banking system is kind of trash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, just tell the rocks to do better. 
No, they're 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 very hard headed. They don't listen very well. We we've just gotten better rocks. We have not gotten better rocks. The, we've we've gotten rocks that do math badly faster. They still do math faster badly. Faster is still better. No, they're still wrong. They still fuck it up. Do right, they fuck it up, quick. or did the people who taught them how to do the math fuck up teaching? Aha! And that's and that's it right there, because computers are a mistake only because people were a mistake. Congratulations, Elena. You have you have solved the riddle of computers. And this mm. is why I'm QA. But what does she win? You should be QA. Can I is win it... a QA position? No, it's a new car. It's no. Oh. No. I want to no. win a QA position. No. I but I do. All right, fine. Yay! New car dance, since Ellie's not here to do it. I know. Okay, fine. I did fine. Thank you. Yeah, you got your you got your new car. Yay. Music. New car music. Well, when you're a big famous streamer, you can just make that a new car for all of us or something. You know, like when you make millions every stream or something. You know what? Listen. If I ever if I ever make a million dollars off of this fucking stream, I will buy you a car. Sweet. I will buy you a car. I will buy you a garden where your flowers can bloom. I actually only have one other millionaire commitment right now. Yeah, Viv What's that? Viv, you already missed it, bud. It's it it, it happened already. Um so does this mean if he makes a million, we're going to have a third Toyota Yaris? No. No, you're not. You didn't specify what type of car. Yeah, no, I didn't specify what type. I also I also didn't necessarily say I would get you a new car. I said I would buy you a car. Um, but it'll be new to you. I'll make sure to buy you a car that you have not specifically owned. Um, I haven't owned a Tesla. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to get a Tesla or a Tesla-esque Tesla-like car soon. Like a roguelike? Mm-hmm. Well, welcomes back to both of yous. Um, so, I would like an electric car. But I don't like anybody who's making them right now. Except Isn't Audi. Isn't Toyota making them? Huh? Isn't Toyota making them? Yeah. Yeah. I Toyota actually, last I looked, I think it was Toyota anyway, they like were making electric cars. They kind of rolled a one on doing it, and now they're suing other people to slow down the process for competition's reasons. <laughs> well, okay, so here's here's a, it, here's a fun fact. Like for the longest time, um, so, you know, Toyota kind of pioneered the hybrid car space, right? Because um, they did the Prius, and then they started hybridizing other of their, like, other vehicles in their portfolio. So, several years after Toyota started doing hybrid stuff, GM came behind them and started doing hybrid stuff as well. GM's, like, they've been in the car making business longer than most other companies. Um, so, fun fact, for a very long time, GM was buying the old technology that Toyota had produced. So about two generations back from what Toyota, like their current stuff, that's what GM was buying and trying to improve upon to push their stuff out, which is why Toyota was ahead of them for so long because Toyota, they like they were two generations beyond their own technology that GM was buying and putting in their vehicles. So fun fact, fun random bullshit fact that I know. I would drive an electric car down Electric Avenue. I want to rock down to Electric Avenue. And then I have a Civic that I got with less than 10,000 miles, so I am uh, basically going to get to use that thing for the rest of my life if I decided I really wanted to. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I bought it from a Toyota dealership, so I keep thinking it's a Toyota, even though it's a Honda. Yeah. 
Um, I could get now like a like a fuel cell car, like a hydrogen cell. I could do that. That would be great. Like you put in hydrogen and all that comes out is waste exhaust is water. Like just clean water, like fuck yeah, let's I can do that. I'll do it. Do what you want. Fucking won't. Fucking what? <laughs> what what? Hunch hunch. What what? They even have the uh, the Toyota Sienna as a hybrid now. Oh, Saturn. So there's a there's somebody actually on our street, Fritz. Ice that owns... needs it for everyday hustling. Nick, Nick, what are you doing? Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that resub. Um, there's somebody down our down the street from us that still has their Saturn Sky Roadster. And that is, oh, wow. that's a pretty car. It is. And I've always wanted to ride in one. Um, I know that I couldn't own one because it's like, it's just entirely too small for me. Like I would, mm -hmm. I would sit in it and my leg would be out the door. Um, but the Saturn Sky Roadster was, that was a pretty car. Um, like that right there. That's just, it's so pretty. Like, I, I love the look of that car so much. Um, but, and, you know, unfortunately, when GM went through all of their shit, I don't know, like, what was this, like, fucking 15 years ago now? And they folded out, like, they killed off Geo, they killed off Saturn, they killed off Pontiac... Um, yeah. Oh, a Z car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, Zs. My, my uncle's obsessed with those things. Um, Sabrina's cousin has a Z car. So I'm, I'm torn because... Yeah, Nick, I heard you fell in the, a hole, bud. Don't do that. Don't fucking fall in the hole. Just don't do it. Yeah, um, because... And I down the hole. Like, um... With the uh, with the Teslas, you know, you've got places like Wawa that have the superchargers and no gas around me, um, mm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you know, they they have the the proprietary charger that only like for the super ones, only people who have Teslas can use them. Right. You can adapt them to the other ones, um, but at the same time, like. And this is going to sound dumb, but like, I like having buttons to press and things to turn to be able to like change the radio or the temperature or whatever. And it just feels like with the giant iPad screen, that is everything that you do on the, on the car besides like the windshield wiper and the turn signal. Um, I, I just hate touch screen. That's that, that to me. That to me is a single point of failure, and it's a, an expensive single point of failure. For example, if I have like if the knob breaks on my air, I can at least like take the little like thing and turn it off. Right. You know, I can do that. But when I have a single huge touch screen that's there, and like okay, so Tesla's sitting here, and their engineers are like, "Hey, you can play fucking I don't know." whatever fucking game on there now. Like you can play Fortnite on, on your Tesla screen. It's like, Oh boy. I, why do I want to play a video game while I'm in my that. fucking car? Like I'm driving. Right. I don't want right. to. No, just no. Like, Oh, uh. I mean, to be, to be fair, to be fair, uh, to be Playing Doom would get you in the mind, the proper mindset to deal with uh, Rush Hour. I'm, sure, sure, it would, it would, but like, it's impractical and above all, it's unsafe. Yes, it, I, I, I don't want like the gimmicks necessarily, no, and like no. I, I really wish 
And I, I get it, everyone loves touch screens, and I know not everyone, but enough people love touch screens, but I really wish we would, like, not make touch screens the, like, default modern technology, because they just don't work for everyone. I, 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 I like would, physical uh, buttons, man. I love physical buttons. I would buttons. kill to get my slide-out physical keyboard on my phone again. You took my slide-out physical keyboard away, sir. I was <laughs> using an Android device back in the day when a smartphone had that. Oh, do you hear? Do you hear? Do you hear old man technology up here? Back in my day, I back was in my day. Here he comes. Yeah, um, I had a slide out keyboard, and you were like, "No, upgrade to the smartphone. It'll be great." And uh, yeah, upgrade to the smartphone that I had rooted and overclocked the fuck out of. Yeah, sure, yeah, this would be a good device. You're, you're gonna, a first like, time smartphone user. Yeah, it was, it was horrible. I, I was not nice to her when I first got her into the smartphone world. Yeah, here, have this overclocked, like, broke to shit smartphone, and I'm gonna tell you it's an upgrade. And in like eight months, you're gonna have a meltdown because you want your old fucking non smartphone back. When Bean finally, when she gave up her Windows phone. I got her a Samsung Galaxy. I got her an S7, and she was very happy with it. So I bricked my S3. That's how long ago it was. <laughs> it was an S3 that I gave Lena. Yeah. You, <laughs> you, I, I, I gave bricked me mine. S, he gave me an S3 that he had rooted and used to shit and was replacing for his. And yeah, so I bricked mine uh, because I decided that I didn't like the stock OS enough to use it. And uh, then I like installed an update out of order or something and just completely fucked it. I could not reinstall the Google store. Um, in, and so I couldn't, in, I couldn't restore it or anything. Yeah. In your defense, TouchWiz back then was absolute garbage. It's probably still garbage. I don't know. I haven't had a Galaxy phone in God knows how long. But TouchWiz is, was absolutely garbage when the s3 like during that age yeah touch is a hell of a lot better now now frankly i don't use it outside of the system ui because touch is all the system ui um so for my launcher i use the microsoft launcher because it's got all of my integrated shit in it um but the the touch stuff is a lot better than it used to be because yeah Launched back it. in those days it was really bad it yeah, was like, really it, yes, bad it was. It kind of sucked that, like, almost all of Samsung's phones had to be flagship phones just to run TouchWiz properly. Yeah. Like, it sucked. It was awful. But then again, most Android UI at that point was just god-awful to begin with. And it, it wasn't until, like, a few generations later that they really started cleaning things up. Yeah. I was going to say, we have finally found my happy place with Pixel pixels i'm well, and, i'm actually considering uh a 5a yeah because i'm my phone's over two years old and as we're starting to notice a couple slowdowns although we're not sure what yet we're trying a couple things but i'm considering a 5a because my 3a has been good to me and my whatever i had before that was good to me so i'm i'm holding out for later this year the supposedly the surface duo 2 is coming out so i'm holding out for that to see you holding out for a microsoft product i'm shocked i didn't buy the first one i'm, I'm still shocked that you, absolutely 100 percent thoroughly shocked to my core that you were holding out for a microsoft product and if you can't tell that that was sarcasm i i don't know what to tell you anyway we we have we have <laughs> found that uh that she needs she needs stock android like Wait, we we for one welcome our Google overlords in this household. So having having a Google pixel makes sense. Apps having Google apps installed baseline is absolutely fine. But then stock Android outside of that is absolutely necessary. Yeah, I cannot stand get uh, Samsungs anymore because of all the what I consider bloatware. Like because I don't use any of the Samsung like playground and i use the google playground so like while they're both just installing their shit i at least use the google shit yeah um all right so let me let me let me get caught up on chat real quick because all right so a couple of things one uh fritz um 
Geo was actually a joint venture between GM and Suzuki. Um, and if you look at some of the stylings of like the later models of Geo Metro and things like the Chevy Cruze, you can see like sort of the melding of a lot of that design. Um, in essence, I'm not surprised that that you like Mopar. That 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 seems to track with you. Um, and yes, I agree. However, I mean, there are still a lot of things that you can do, like grab a laptop and go out there and plug it in. Um, and that's what your OBD2 port's for. But I don't like being locked out of it. Um, and I also just like, I don't know. Right to repair needs to fucking stay a thing. That's super fucking important. Absolutely. Whether it's repairing it with your own laptop or repairing it with a wrench, that fucking needs to stay. Absolutely. Like absolutely, a hundred percent. Um. The other thing is, I. There's there's a there's so much focus on making everything more like streamlined and slimmed down that it's taking away and it's making it actually a worse user experience. I um, I I'm okay with like a, a chunkier phone if it could do more or have more battery. Like I hate the oh well the battery is half the size of the last one but it can like it it's bendable. I. I don't fucking need a bendable, foldable phone that's just more break points for me. Well, okay, so like, and I think we've talked about this before, but looking at things like the um, the Galaxy Fold, okay, where the screen itself actually folds and it's a seamless screen. I don't need that. Don't and we're, we're not at that point anyway. Like, the tech isn't good. Like, you, you fold and unfold that thing a few hundred times and it, and it starts to show that it's not ready for prime time. Like this is, this is first generation technology at its peak. Um, so what we need to do is instead of doing like n new fun engineering, like cutting edge engineering, we need to do smart engineering. And frankly, like, do we need dual screen phones? Not necessarily. Do I want one? Sure. But I want something that's like, that does it in a smart way, which is why I like the way that Microsoft designed the Duo. Because it's actually like two things on a hinge. Like it's basically a surface. It Like it's basically a surface. But with both sides I, being a screen. I just, and granted, I am, I am not the techiest of people. I don't know what I need two screens on a phone for. I have a computer. And you I don't. have a laptop. You, like I a lot a of people Kindle. don't. Like, I don't. I just, I want my phone to be a phone a text box, a an an idle device when I'm trying to, you know, not kill myself at work. Yeah. That 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 is really all I need a phone to be. I don't need it yeah. to fold. I don't need it to transform into a cat, although that would be cool. Yeah. You, I don't need it. You to, want it like, to transform into a cat though. Four screens, and I know I'm being exaggerative, but like a lot of the features, I, I don't need. I would prefer. If, if you could give me a battery that lasted like a day and a half, I would prefer that over folding my phone or whatever. Like, well, we've lost features over the years. That's the thing. We've we've lost a lot of the ability to expand on this stuff ourselves. A lot of phones, you still you can't even change out your own battery. Yeah, yeah, that shit's soldered in. There's and no SD card slots anymore. Yeah. There's you. We've Headphone lost jacks. lots of. Headphone jacks. I know, I know that was a big one that you hated losing was which the is, headphone jack. Which, I love having a headphone which jack. I, find, I still use headphones find, on my phone. I find fucking hilarious that I'm the one that was upset about losing the headphone jack. She could care less, yet she's got the phone with the headphone jack on it still. Yeah. <laughs> I don't care about the headphone jack because I have Bluetooth, so and I'm 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 comfy enough Bluetoothing everything, but I I I think it's a dumb loss, but it wasn't one that like personally bugged me but yeah i i, I think like, it's yeah give, give give us those options back give me give me a give me a freaking keyboard i can type on so i'm not freaking pawing with my sweaty fingerprints at swipe and typing duck or you know whatever all the time like just i i get that sometimes we have to go 
different directions to like innovate and stuff but I feel like we're trying to make phones into like things they they, they aren't no no <laughs> like, Nick he doesn't he wants a physical keyboard he wants a physical keyboard not an on-screen touch keyboard that's the whole point the, the, Correct. The, like the, I'm, the, the I'm fold. saying, like go back all the way to the original Droid phones that they had, like like OG Android Droids or like one point six, <laughs> or like the um, Dell made one, um, the Dell Venue. I think was the the I think the phone was under the Venue brand, where it was like a slide up, um, or like this. They made a few models of BlackBerry that were slide up phones with keyboards underneath. Um. And no, Fritz, we don't need tricorder phones yet. We're not, like, we're not there yet. Like, like I get we have to try occasionally yet. to see if we can be there, but I mean, it feels like more of our focus is on places we aren't than on places we would like to be. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Babe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah bud. Yep. You, uh, yeah, you, you, you got more important shit to take care of. Yep. 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 That is, uh, yep. Yep. Go um, take care of the baby. But it's just like, I don't, I don't know why anyone needs their phone to fold when they're like freaking like two inches, not even, they're like two centimeters thick to begin with. Like, just, I'm, just, just, I'm okay with the experimentation. I'm okay with them kind of throwing things out there and just seeing what sticks. To me, that's one of the biggest things that was always good about Android in general was that we've got enough companies doing different fucking things all the time that we can have one company over here trying physical keyboards out and then we've got another company that can do a folding phone microsoft could try their folding phones give it a shot things like that like i that's one of the biggest reasons why i've liked android the whole time is that i would love people to keep trying all these different things some people just want a fucking phone and that's fine too yep yeah and that's the thing like i just do I want a phone that can do a lot of cool shit? Yeah. Does everybody need one? No. Like make make simple phones. I've honestly several times, especially in the last few years, I've toyed with the idea of going back to a flip phone. Like I'm not even kidding. Let's go back to a fucking flip phone. Something that I can make calls and get texts on. Like I have and, I've I've strongly considered it a and couple like, times. Like I, I know for me that sounds like that sounds like like I'm I'm losing my shit, but, but <laughs> But really, really, you're you work from home, and you are home. What you have your computers to do, freaking everything. Yeah. Like when you're not home, you should be experiencing things with people. I mean, I'm not telling you how to live your life, but like, I can see the appeal. Like, you fucking live your life, and. And and then you use the computers to do the computery things, and not mm -hmm. not a hybrid thing that is bad at being a computer. Sometimes, in fairness, computers are bad at being computers. Well, yes, but these it's are just particularly worth... bad at being computers. The difference is that Android has just hasn't been doing it as long as Windows, and Windows can hide it better. Windows is bad yes. at being computers too. I'll, I'll oh, be the first I... one to say it. Let let me tell you, I don't. I haven't met a computer that's good at being computer. But it's because computers are bad, and they should feel bad. Phones, phones are bad at being computers, and are small enough to be yeeted, and that is a bad combination. I've I've thought about a landline, um, but I still need. I, am I still need to, one, to have something on the go. I am one thousand percent getting a landline when I move because I didn't realize it before I got this job, but I spend almost my entire day, but anytime I have a meeting, it's always on the phone. Mm. They don't ever use the computer because most of the people are on the government computers where it's all restricted and you're using VPN and blah, blah, blah. And I fucking hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But, you know, such is life. And so I got the, you know, the bundle with... Xfinity, I think, is who I ended up going with when I moved. Because I don't want to be on my cell phone all day long. I have considered getting a landline, but for me, the costs would outweigh the the once in a lifetime we would ever use it. 
yeah, the only reason I'm getting it is because of the fact that I have to use my phone for work, like any time yeah. that we're doing something. And so if I can get, uh, you know, a decent headset and then just have that instead of having to use my Bluetooth earbuds with my phone and honestly, all day long. Like if you're like when you have a landline phone, I mean, the best headsets are still made for landlines whether yep. that's like home landlines or offices or whatever, yep. like the best headsets, whether it's like Plantronics or, um, or Jabra or who else, whoever else, like they're still the best headsets. Um, thanks for that lurk, Nick, to go, uh, you know, don't, uh, don't die. Don't let your foot fall off. Also, don't <laughs> fall any more fucking holes, bud. Um, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. So make it kind of hard to, or not necessarily hard, but more expensive to do a flip phone at this point. Like yeah. You'd have to kind of just go buy your own minutes and shit like that to get, get away with it for any decent price. No, you you don't have to. You can still you can you can just pop your. I mean, all the flip phones now, they support micro sims and they'll they'll take the, the normal uh, plans along with them. And I mean, hell, like Sabrina and I, Bean and I, we're on a we're on a prepaid plan. Like, we've gone to a prepaid provider just because it's cheap and it works. Like every once in a while, my phone fucks up, but I think that's a problem with my phone and not the service itself. Um, where like my phone will occasionally like not be able to read register with the network until I like swap the sims back out but like she hasn't really had a problem with her phone we're paying like 35 bucks a month for unlimited everything um, it's on Verizon's network because it's Verizon's MVNO it's visible and like for 35 bucks a month like my phone works my text works my data always works, and it's pretty fast. Like, I don't give a fuck. And I'm at home most of the time anyway, so who gives a shit? Even yeah, if my that's... data fucks up, I'm on the Wi-Fi, so... Yeah, Fee was close to that in price before we got the Unlimited, but um, when Chris and Zondefron are out of the house, which with COVID they're not, but they need unlimited and uh my best friend who's also on our plan needs the unlimited i probably don't but i use it now that we have it yeah i think we're like at 50 a person which isn't really that bad no that's mm -mm. that's not bad that's not bad at all so. like i mean most plans these days are still like for 60 70 dollars a person um and the thing that kills me is like and like the biggest reason why we went to a prepaid is because no matter who of the f like the four major carriers that you go with these days, like T-Mobile started all of this shit and it's really bad. Verizon jumped on this bandwagon. AT and T does it too. Um, and well, I guess it's three now because they bought it because T-Mobile bought Sprint. So the three major carriers all do this. Like you get your plans with them, and they throw in all of this extra bullshit that adds hidden costs. Like. I don't want to have Netflix included with my fucking phone plan. Like, I have Netflix. Like, fuck off. I have Disney Plus. Fuck off. Like, I have these things separately for a reason. I don't need this on my phone plan. Just sell me the fucking phone plan. I just want to pay you to provide service to my phone. That's it. I don't want anything else. Just give me phone service and go the fuck away until the phone service breaks and then I need to tell you that it's broken. Like, that's it. That's mm -hmm. all I want. So I just, that's that's why we went with Visible, because it doesn't have all of that shit. Like, it's like, Visible has one plan. It's 40 bucks. 40 bucks, you get your phone service. Unlimited talk, text, data. That's it. They're rolling out 5G to supported devices now. It's got 4G LTE by default. Fast, reliable, works great. Yeah. And then you, if yeah. you, if you group people together, then fine knock five bucks off for everybody that's in the group so yeah, we gonna, pay we gonna, pay 35 bucks yeah if we weren't with fee that would be something i would look at like like we pay we it's it's so much better with with the not the carrier even though it's owned by them like it's so much better with the mvno that we get we could add a third line and still pay less than what we paid when we had the two lines at at&t 
What is MVNO? Oh, God, yeah. A mobile virtual network operator. Um, so it's someone who doesn't own the network. They rent the network from someone else. So like all the different prepaid stuff out there. So like um, some carriers own their own, like Visible is Verizon's, um, Metro PCS is T-Mobile's. Um, I forget what at and is. is also technically T-Mobile's. T-Mobile what is? and, well. A is technically. C was T-Mobile and Sprint, but I guess they merged, didn't they? Yes. Mm -hmm. so, so yeah. So Google Fi is no. is an MVNO. Um, um, AT and T's is Cricket. Cricket is owned by AT and T. Um, and then anything else like, uh, if you see like Mint or Consumer Cellular or anything like that, anything that's not actually one of the carriers that they rent the towers from someone else, they're a mobile virtual network operator. So literally all it is, is they're just renting tower space. They're renting bandwidth from the network. Yeah, there's some really good plans out there if you don't need certain things. Yeah. Like if you can figure out what you don't need. Yeah, and that's it. And that's that's why I like... Let me see. And I, I, I looked at different ones for a while... Um, before I decided to go with Visible and give it a shot. But let me see. So, like, Mint has plans. And Mint has decent plans. But I just... I was... I, th I think the biggest thing with Visible was the fact that it's owned by Verizon. So, if anybody is going to, like... Verizon's going to take care of their own first. So, if something breaks on the network... The first ones to know about it are going to be Verizon and then Visible folks. And then the first ones that are going to get brought back onto the network once things get fixed are Verizon and then Visible. So like, like I get all the, I get all the, the benefits of, um, of paying like less through a virtual carrier, but I still get all the benefits of them being owned by the carrier. Yeah, I was happy that uh, Fi was Sprint T-Mobile. I'm Verizon has screwed me over one too many times. So, other than internet, I won't touch them for phones. A AT and T, AT and T. I'm just I I got over because their data around here, and I don't know if this is an everywhere thing or if this is just like a thing that we have to deal with here in Tampa. Their data speeds are atrocious. They're so bad. They throttle their network so bad for people that are paying full price for plans, like actual plans, that I could get on my phone, I could be in a place with four bars, and shit just basically wouldn't load. If oh I if I connect to, yeah if I connect to the VPN at my house, so I've got a VPN set up so I can tunnel every all of my traffic through here. If I connect to the VPN, everything's lightning fast, which means that's not an issue with the mobile network. That's an issue with AT and T throttling direct traffic. Oh, because yeah, the tunnel I, was fine. It's. Ugh. I won't touch AT and T after they fucking broke my internet when they weren't even my service provider. So, like that. That is. That is not. That is just status quo for me. Yeah. Because we were we um this was before I met Chris, but where I was living we shared a box with our neighbors, like it, the the junction box on the pole out back. And we had I don't fucking remember for internet, but someone else and the neighbors got AT and T and AT and T disconnected everything in the box and then wouldn't talk to us. They're like, Oh, you don't have an account and we're like Okay, but 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 you did this. Yep. They're like, you don't have account with us, but but you did this. Yep. <laughs> so, so I. Mm, mm. Yep. So like T-Mobile and Sprint were like the only two I didn't have a vendetta against. Yeah, I'm. I had had Sprint before, and Sprint's coverage. It's so weird. Sprint has always had the weirdest coverage. Um, they do. They do have the weirdest coverage. So I used to work for a construction company, and the company phones were mostly Sprint because they were Nextel. 
Sprint bought Nextel. And if you don't remember, Nextel were the chirp chirp walkie talkie phones. Loved those. I miss those. So Get the those back. Um, so we had Sprint because we had Nextel at one point. It was all together. Um, and so being on the construction site and having, you know, folks that are out in the field and they need that instant communication, we would chirp each other, you know? Like I would I would I would ping the guys, the 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 superintendents. Be like, hey, what's going on? Can I come out to site today? You got time for me to come out and work on your shit, whatever. But it got to a point to where I was sitting in my office, and my office was right next to a window. Like I'm, I'm basically the same distance from my window um, here as I was in my office. That's right around the corner because I used to work right around the corner. So I'm like a good like I don't know four feet from the window here. I could put my phone on the windowsill and it still only had one bar of service. However, if I drive to Gainesville up to the University of Florida and I go through the woods on the way there in the middle of the woods, literally just like pine trees on either side of me, five bars, five fucking bars. Hate to break it to you, bud, but one of those wasn't a pine tree. <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Exactly. And that's the thing that kills me is like in the middle of the woods, fine. In the office in a suburban, like major metro area, nope. Go fuck yourself. Oh, look at the like, bright side. At least you weren't gonna get caught in a horror movie. I mean, I guess. I guess if that happens in the middle of a day on the way to, you know, Gainesville. Sure. You know, I got that going for me, which is nice. But like, you know, uh, uh, like really, Sprint so. has always had. That's just why I liked that it was Sprint and T-Mobile because T-Mobile kind of helps, um, buff out some of those gaps a bit. Yeah, and the, the other only reason why we I was with Sprint for as long as I was is because they let me keep my unlimited for ever. Yeah, well, and the biggest thing about um, about both Sprint and. Yeah, see, 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 that's exactly what I'm talking about, Viv. You go into Boston, you go into the city, you're roaming on a fucking major carrier. I, what? No. So, um, oh, fuck. I forgot where I was going with it. Goddamn Sprint. That, that was where you were going with it, yeah, honestly. Pretty much. I mean, that's pretty much. Be, that's it. To be fair, goddamn cell phone companies in general just... Most of them are bad. They are. They are. They're. They're. They're not ideal. I'll tell you that. They're not ideal. Wait, wait. Uh. Ah. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm done with my sprint rant for the day. No problem. After your that sprint review resurface. yesterday, I That's... agree with you on sprint being the weirdest coverage. It's just I would, I, especially up where I was, I could take weird coverage over asshole customer service. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. I agree. Now, granted, when I was on Verizon and I had been on Verizon for years, I, I knew people. I guess I did it at AT&T, too. I had a guy here. So I had people, so I didn't have to deal with, like, the normal customer service bullshit because I had people I for that kind people. of thing. I make it a point to develop interpersonal relationships with the yeah, people uh, that I need things from. Interpersonal relationships are not my strong point. I, well, I, I, I'm okay at them. You, you are well more than okay at them, I, sir. I do all right at them. I, I manage. You are well more than okay at them, sir. I manage. Coming from someone who does not manage a frequent amount of the time, you are well more than okay at them, sir. Well, you know, stuff and things. Yeah, see, see, Amy, one, you're right by a window, one bar, one. You know what cell phones are made of? crushed hopes and dreams computers and computers were a mistake cell phones are just little computers that fit in your pocket that's it that's all they are uh, 
I'm gonna die on that hill. Drowning in drowning in fucking circuit boards. I don't I don't remember computers being a requirement of making cell phones in satisfactory. Mm. I don't remember, I'd have to see. It might have been one of like the prereqs. The awesome. joke there is there's no cell phones in satisfactory. Just coffee mugs. Just coffee mugs. Also, I just saw this meme and I love it because, boy, if boy howdy, if this isn't uh, if this isn't uh, our lives, me, lollipop, Fritz, this is this is us right here. I edit text files for a living. That's that's what I do. Oh, do significantly more than that, sir. I. <laughs> We literally edit text files for a living, Elena. That's what we do. We look at the little There's blinky blinks. We type things in. We delete other things. Then we hit save. We click other buttons to save it on other computers. And then... They are not dot .txt files. They, we didn't say some dot .txt. Are. They are still text files. files and some of them are. Huh. Some of Most them of are. Them are not. doesn't matter what you put at the end of it the, the dot the extension doesn't mean anything they are files with text in them that aligned but he's right uh, uh, your favorite computers are family computers that's right that's right oh uh, speaking of family computers I haven't Mine, my switch is still downstairs, and I gotta, I gotta bring it back up here at some point so I can um, do Pokemans Unite so to see what all the literal yelling is about. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> you have a you you've got enough yelling about that in your house, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am I am hot garbage trash at MOBAs, so I am I am, I am doing a hot pass on that one. I've never yeah. even I played mean, a MOBA. I, I have too, but um, it's uh, I, I mean, I don't. I'm trying to avoid ranked as much as possible, and beyond that, it's fine. Well, the other thing that granted. I want to do, and granted, my MOBA experience is like a whole like two hours of, of combination of Smite and uh, Heroes of the Storm, so not a, lot of, not a lot of room for learning in there yet, but, you know. Well, the other thing is that I finally got this for my Switch, and uh, Fritz, you could appreciate this because this is, this is right up your alley, bud, um, but I haven't had a chance to use it yet because I just haven't done it, uh, but I really need to play my Switch with the Super NES controller made for the Switch. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, I, I, this was out of stock for months and months and months. And a few weeks ago, I saw that it finally came back in stock at Nintendo, and I bought one. Um, I also have the NES ones that dock on the sides of the Switch, like the Joy-Cons do. Um, this one doesn't dock. This is, this is more like the Pro Controller, where it plugs into charge. Um, via USB-C, um, but it's like it's it's like it's so true to form. Like this is they they rebuilt the SNES controller. They just added a couple of things for Switch compatibility, and I'm I'm into it, and I gotta play it because I have Nintendo Online, so that means I've also got the, all the like the classic SNES stuff that's on there. Jackson, can you please stop licking your junk? No. Jackson, definitely. Jackson. Please stop. I love you. Thank oh, you. Oh, the yeah, I've I I've I, I haven't had a one of those in a long time, Fritz, but those were good. I had one of those for what did I have it for? I think I had one for an N sixty four controller. I had one for uh a PS two controller, I think. And then I forget what else. 
But yeah, like the retro controller adapters are very nice. Very nice. Uh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, um, where's the thing that you <coughs> sent me earlier? Who? Lollipop. Uh, uh oh. Ugh. What did you do, Chris? No, 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 no. This is good. This is good. This is, this is actually good. He didn't do anything bad this time. You say that. I don't want to unmute it because I know it's going to be hella loud because it's TikTok and you can't control the fucking volume in the browser. Which is so dumb. It's like, put a fucking slider. Put a slider. Like all you do is video. It's not that hard. Put a fucking slider control. Jesus Christ. I could do it in a fucking day. Just by myself. I don't even know what I'm doing. I could put it in there. Zach is going to be looking for jobs at TikTok, fix the volume on their website. And, and immediately quit. quit. Um, well, I will show it without the audio. Um, but today the, uh, the Pokemon Presents was today. And they showed off a lot of stuff from Pokemon Legends Arceus. And they showed off the new region and the regional forms, including the new regional form of Growlithe. And he is just the sweetest little fluffy boy. Oh my god, what a good boy. Like, Here look, comes the boy. Like, look at him. Look at him with his all of his fluffies. <laughs> He can't even. He can't even see. He's got his hair. He's got his furs in his face. He can't look at him trot. Look at him. Look at his little trot. What a good I boy! I saw one earlier of like Such combining some like I don't know one of those like 15th century people with the the, the wigs. Oh and yeah. Growl is going yeah, and then <laughs> yeah, getting that growl is. So. Fritz, I don't think it's technically Gen 9 because um, the storyline is set way in the past. Like, way, way in the past. Like, your Pokedex is, is a paper-bound notebook in the past. Um, so, I don't think it's technically Gen 9. It's a... It's a Gen 0. It's a, yeah, essentially, it's Gen 0. Um, but it's, it's a time before Pokemon and people live together so closely in harmony it's this is back in the times when people were still in very small villages before the cities all got built um bef this is when um pokemon research was just really getting started and um it's like the concept is really interesting and it looks really good um it's yes it's the before times yes oh oh the before times but, oh, the before times. Oh, the before times. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's really. I mean, n almost kind of like a little bit, and like they still have some technology. Like you know, the basic stuff is there. Pokeballs are there of different types. Um, but they they remembered what uh, the oh, fuck, the, oh, waffle bacon, Nick. Is it apricorns? Um, yeah. Yeah, but do, I don't they know. Those, they remembered those, finally. Are those are those going to be a thing in Legends? I didn't see. Yeah, they, 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 you, there's a crafting system, and you can craft Pokeballs with the, with the things and the stuff. Let's see. Please don't quote me. Quoting me is a bad idea. Let's see what Cerebi says about it. I saw a TikTok about it. So clearly it must be true. Well, I know that like they like they brought back um apricorns in Sword and Shield. Um which it's a little different than it used to be because back when they were introduced in Gold and Silver, you find an apricorn of a type, you take it to what the hell was his name? What's the name of the guy that 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 would like turn them into Pokeballs? Um, shit, I want to say it was Kent, but that, I don't think that's right. Um, 
Let me see. I think that is right. Is it? Let's see. Da, 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 da. Kurt. Kurt. It was Kurt. Um, so you could take your apricorns to Kurt, leave him with him for a little while because um, gold and silver introduced real time. 24 in day game hour, or in day hours, real life hours. Yep. Um, and then after a certain period of time, you could come back to Kurt and he would have taken the apricorn that you brought him, carved it into a, a, a certain type of Pokeball depending on what kind you brought him. Um, so uh, if that's actually a thing that's coming back, I, I, cause I, you know, I was in and out of meetings this morning, so I'm, I'm sure I missed some of that, but, um, that would be fantastic. And it would be a great way to reintroduce that to like, or I guess kind of bring the beginnings of that technology to the series. A unique crafting system. Even though the crafting mechanics weren't mentioned during Pokemon Presents, the official website was later updated with information on the system. An image shows necessary materials needed to craft a Pokeball, which appears to take four Epicorns and seven temples, Tumble Stones to make. Oh, okay. Well, then, fuck. If it's on the if it's on the official website, then that's legit. Well, this is a yeah. This is I I found a, someone summing it up, but they they looks like they put. Um, images on the website. The Pokeballs look a little different, which makes sense with the technology where they're at and everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. But Absolutely. it looks like they're using Appar It looks like you're not going to just take them to Kurt. It looks like you're using them, which, again, makes sense because more open world, more you doing your own shit rather than just, you know, someone doing it because you're the, the chosen child. Have a good night, Nick. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Good luck getting all your raid stuff set up. No, Zundefron, you're supposed to catch everything with a premiere ball because it looks cooler. Let me see. Let's let's look at the gameplay on the website and see what they've got here. So there's the catching stuff. Oh, the combies. Look at the little combi, the little bzz bzz babies. And oh my god. Look at the piplup. And the feel the little babies. Look at the babies. Mm. And go, of course, yeah. Uh, let's see. So, like, there's the there's the throw, there's the throwing mechanic, which is. I, I'm actually looking forward to this throwing mechanic more than I liked in Let's Go, because I know Let's Go was just like the Gen 1 remake with Go mechanics. I get that. Um, but I'm looking forward to this, because this is like action RPG style, and I, I'm like, I'm really looking forward to it. Here's the battling system. Let's see, we're going to show the catch. Oh yeah, there you go. I'm really intrigued. I'm uncertain if I'm looking forward to uh, getting attacked as a player. Yeah, that one's how. that one's going to be a tough one to kind of. It's it's going to really force you to work on your stealth, huh? No, it's going to work on me getting frustrated and throwing the game at someone who's better at the combat than or stealth than me, and then going back to playing the game. Yeah, this all right. is why you you live with other gamers. They're they're better at other parts of the game than you. So there's the battles. <laughs> I'm also looking forward to the battle system. So they have this new style system where you can do agile versus strong. So you in the strong style, you move. It's it's like an it's like an ordered action set. And in the strong style, you have fewer moves up front, but they're stronger. In the agile style, you have more moves up front. So if you want to set off some kind of, say, um, uh, like a, a stat modifier move and then something to piggyback off of that, like an attack to piggyback, you can do that. They won't be as powerful, but you could, you could pull that off. Um, and yeah, Fritz, like kind of very much like a Zelda style thing. I mean, like watching the gameplay trailers for this, 
it kind of has that Breath of the Wild feel to it. So, not... Not to slight to slightly distract from Arceus, the other thing I'm super excited for is uh, Diamond and Pearl's rhythm feature for the contests. Like that looks fucking cool. So they're they're bringing back the contest. They're doing the rhythm thing. They're expanding um, the underground. Um, like there's there's all kinds of stuff that they're they're adding to it. Um, and then like you can collect stickers, like just one of the little things you can collect stickers throughout the game. You can decorate a pokeball with the different stickers that you find. And when your Pokemon come out of their pokeball, it can have this pattern based on what the stickers you put on there. So if you I'm want like a little find every purple sticker, I know you are like, so if you want confetti or fireworks or whatever, you can decorate purple. your pokeball model to do that. And it will come out like that. So that, I think that's really neat. And it gives and like this that. this is why we're friends, Elena. Huh? I said, and this is why we're friends, Elena. <laughs> it's true. It's true. All the purple. <laughs> but this, like this right here, this this like this like rope bound notebook. That's the Pokedex in in Legends. Hello. What you doing? Bean. Oh, I love you. Hi, Bean. Hi, Bean. You do the wave. Yeah, she cute. It's true. Yeah. Okay, bye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Viv, Viv has it correct. Best human bean. <laughs> Best human bean. It was. Yeah, that is your friend Viv. Yes, that is that is in fact your friend Viv. She says hi, friend Viv. Oh, Fritz says hey too. And like I like I love this with the base camp because there's there's no Pokemon centers you know there's Pokemon centers aren't a thing oh my God Viv she always notices you um what like, did he say Senpai noticed me yeah that's what he said <laughs> that's what he said <laughs> um, so like Pokemon centers are a thing so you'll find these base camps out in the wild that you can go stay at and do your thing at um <gasps> Ray. Oh, okay. All right. Let's see what we got here. What we got? Um, I did an original earlier. Um, how much milk do I have left? I, I'm kind of excited None. for the base camps because I am, um, one of the people who can't stand Fuck the it, I'm doing it anyway. thing. I'm doing the chocolate covered ones because mm -hmm. I like the chocolate covered ones. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nurse Joy's creep me out. Why do they creep you out? Because they all look the same? We hope to see you soon. No, you shouldn't fucking hope to see me ever. No. <laughs> like, this is a nat this is the natural order of things. Like, Pokemon are being battled constantly. They get injured. You bring them to the vet so that they get taken care of. This is, yeah, like, you don't want to hope do. for that. Oh, whatever. You're reading too, in too much into it. <laughs> Zunder. 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 Yeah, I know. Met me? That is... Oh, it'll take a minute, Viv. Distance. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm fucking aware. Mmm. Here it is. Yeah. There it is. And see, they, they, remembered, the, they remembered what apricorns were. Mm-hmm. Oh man, look at the look at the model on that Pokeball like that really is like a rudimentary Pokeball. Yeah. Wow, that's so cool. Like I'm um, okay. That's that's gonna be really good. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's a better picture of it. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. Fritz brings up a good point. You're not just healing HP and status conditions. You're also restoring power points. Because they will run out of moves. 
Well, that's why you just need to make a PP up yours. Wow, wow. Yes, Viv, that is correct. You want to be, you want to be on Adamantois on Ether. Yes. Correct. That's yes, where we are, I, Bubba. I just, I just am always weirded out by Nurse's Joy. Nurse Joy is like, it just. It's just a very odd phrasing for what is effectively a hospital. I think of it as I part hospital, part spa. No, because they have like spa things that are distinctly different. They have a spa. They have like, they have like the massage lady and the like the daycare and stuff and they're not the daycare none of them is just for breeding <laughs> that's just for them getting it on with a ditto <laughs> look tell me i'm wrong daycares are not just for getting it on with a ditto it's like 99 percent of the point of the daycare i mean yeah. from a meta point sure but that's is not that the like... great ball possibly it's... looks like they maybe that it could be a heavy ball Mm, yep, it could be a heavy ball. Yep, 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 yep. Good call, good call. I was gonna say it looks like they maybe they don't have an, any of them, and that's why it's grayed out. But oh, yeah, it, it is heavy, a heavy ball. Look, if I scroll down, it would be right there. Yeah. Hey, look, if I had scrolled down, I wouldn't have had to ask. That's like you reading were just instructions. Trying for viewer engagement. Hmm? You were just trying for viewer engagement. That's fair. And I said that's like reading the instructions. Listen, I just I hadn't gotten that far down the page yet. I had stopped here. There were pretty pictures. Then there were I'm, words. I'm not I'm not I'm saying like that's what I would do. Yeah. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Oh yeah, okay. I got my sneak order today. Did you? Yep. Sneak? Sneak energy. Mm-hmm. Ah. Oh. It's dranks. And we're going to need something with cup holders because dranks. Ah. Yeah, so we've got, um, when is that coming out? It's coming out in January, I think. Yeah, end of January, January 28th. Um, the, let's see. Oh, happy birthday to Lollipop. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, Let's see, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are coming out, uh, what, November 18th or something like that? That is way too close to Endwalker. You are muted. That is way too close to Endwalker for me to care. Yeah. Um, looks neat, though. But yeah, I think that's... uh. I mean, I will get it. Yeah. But it might not be a priority. Yeah, I mean, listen, you you have level 90 in to do, right? Maybe. There's going to be new glam. You got to you got to do the new yeah. glam. New crafting. New crafting. Okay, crafting, fine. You'll be crafting new glam. Yes. The, the real reason I'm taking a week off is so that her gatherer can get ahead of her and plop stuff on her lap so she doesn't have to stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. Oh my god. Oh my god, Viv. Viv. Oh my god, Viv. Viv, no. I mean, yes, but Viv, no. I... Control shift on C. <laughs> Woo.
Cloudy with a chance of drunk mad science. Oh. Yeah, Oof. no, I know. I know. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Oof. I will I will award you one yike. What if I want more than one yike? You only get one. You don't want you don't you don't even want the one. But I want one, more than one mm, yike. You say that. I do. Let me I think see. you do. Okay. So prove to me that I don't. Eh. Yeah. Let's see something. Yeah. Beware what you wish for. It's true. It's true. I keep wishing for a million bucks, and Lollipop's like the slowest wish granter ever here. <laughs> I mean, I'm doing it one one salary at a time. One salary at a time. Yeah. Listen, Rome wasn't built in a day or whatever. I know. Where is... Every cameras let me know that every single time I was installing one. Does it really say that to you? When you're when you go through the setup, it it uh tries to walk you through it a little bit, and then once it gets to a part where it has to like pair itself to the Wi Fi and connect and do updates and stuff like that, it tells you to uh Please hold on while it does that. Rome wasn't built in a day. Oh my god. It really does do that. Mm-hmm. See, looking through the bot because I think there's stuff in the bot that I can do. I was seeing some stuff uh, that looked pretty cool with like some kind of Discord integrations with your uh, okay. with your overlay and stuff. Okay, Viv, what yeah. what do you like? Like I don't know if you've played MMOs or mm. stuff like that. What do you like? Oh, he's doing? played WoW. Well. Like dealing. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's played WoW. Well. He's what, played what, well. what, what were you? Um, what did you enjoy in WoW? Like, like let's let's start there. The the main question, if he's asking from a gameplay standpoint, there are no racials or passives or anything like that, and the stat differences, the starting stat differences, are so minuscule that you don't even care. Well, it's sure. Purely aesthetic. Sure, but. Let, I'm I'm working on the class thing. Because, I mean, Catgirl is the obvious choice. Right, but, but he wants... It makes you make your character... I named well. tanks in WoW, but I don't think I want to jump into that just yet. Okay, so you want to stay away from Warrior Paladin. Yep. Uh, which would be... And the classes, the yes. That's a, Gladiator, Marauder. Gladiator, yeah. Um, so... You probably don't want healing responsibility. So DPS, um, there's Archer, there's Rogue, there's, um, like, there's... do you want to do melee? Do you want to do caster DPS? There's quite a few choices. Can't start as Rogue? Okay. No, you can't start as Rogue. I can never remember which one of these are. Oh, right, because that was introduced with later stuff. Paladin tanking is fun, but if he doesn't want to start on tanking, it's not like WoW where you can be a paladin that DPS is. Like, yeah. You you don't yeah. have that option here, so you, you have to take a DPS class. Um, There's Black Mage for caster DPS. Phrasing, Fritz. There's... We don't do phrasing here. I do phrasing. Um, no, you don't. I literally just did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not contrary. Um... <laughs> no, you don't. 
Yeah, are you wanting the easiest to start with or are you looking to com be complicated? Because that, that definitely affects, like, Bard could be a simple DPS, which is archer, to start. Um, I'm trying to think, what are the, Zundefron, what are, what are all the DPSs? I don't mind a steep learning curve. Black Mage can be... Black Mage eventually is one of the highest skill ceilings. It's, it is the... like it, That and Samurai are like the he can't be highest... Samurai. Yeah, I know you can't be Samurai out of the gate, but those are the two that are like... They're, they're the greedy DPS, so they're the ones that just do damage. They have like no utility to them. They have the highest DPS output of everybody. Mm -hmm. um, and in Black Mage's case, they are fucking turrets. Their skill ceiling mostly comes in knowing where the hell to stand so that you can just turret most of the time, which yeah. is something that you, you learn to do as a ranged DPS in World of Warcraft most of the time anyway, too. Um, So Black Mage is that. Summoner has a pet and... Um, if you like playing the piano and pressing 18 buttons at the same time, not really. Summoner's perfect for you. Bard's pretty simple, which is Archer. Arcanist is Summoner, which Arcanist levels Summoner and Scholar at the same time, so that would let you heal later if you wanted to. Um, Dragoon isn't bad, but it's not the easiest. Yeah, Summoner is definitely Carpal Tunnel. <laughs> Sum Summoner is also the one that like we literally cannot talk to you about all of the cool shit that it gets. Oh man. Because literally all of it is spoilers. Well, let me all tell you I. something, bud. I started <laughs> I started as an arcanist and moved up to Summoner and it is choice. It is yep, choice. I love it. Now, keep this in mind too. You start as something and you'll do it for a while. And if you don't like it, you can just be something else yeah you can just switch later and there's enough experience and other ways to do things that it's easy to level a, a second third fourth class so if you start on i don't know say black mage and you're like ugh i hate it you can switch or you could become a tank and it's not difficult or complex or hard it's final fantasy is super alt friendly especially for leveling just various things so i would say pick something that sounds even remotely appealing to you and after like 20 levels you'll be able to switch anyways yeah the other and thing too 20 levels in about an hour i mean not literally but the other thing too viv I mean, is like someone who has been who has tanked in wow a lot as well uh, there's a lot more to tanking in World of Warcraft than there is here. You're, you don't have an active mitigation like you t sort of do, but it. it it's... Honestly, I would say the, the the most difficult role here can be healers, because it is fucking healer adjust. Yeah, it's t tanking is not. If you've tanked in other games, tanking here is not nearly the same kind of anxiety level. Yeah. It's just... you. you in fact, if for learning, it ends up being a little bit better because you end up having to do a lot of the same mechanics that everyone else is doing, but you have a lot bigger of a health pool and a lot more defense to eat it with. So... <laughs> Because tank mechanics are minuscule, like it, all of the all of the times I've ever tanked, like a raid or anything like that, all of the tank mechanics either haven't been existent or they've just been a giant pain in the ass, and the giant pain in the ass ones are few and far between. Yeah, I I healed for most of my Final Fantasy fourteen career, and I have tanked a couple minor things, nothing like large or official or current. And I'm just like, where are the mechanics? Where is the everything I have to do? And he's like, you stand here until you go stand over there. And then you stand there. And I'm like, what is this? I don't understand. Yeah. Their, their DPS rotations are really simple. The only one that doesn't have an, a really simple DPS rotation is Gunbreaker. And you can't you be Gunbreaker to, out of the big yeah, gate anyway. You can't anyway. be Gunbreaker when you start. I still um, can't I would, I would honestly say just pick... Pick one that sounds interesting because you can always change. Yeah, it, 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 it isn't true. it isn't the choice. It isn't WoW where you're like, ugh, I'm gonna have to make a whole new character and start all over and and throw all my gear away and 
do the hokey pokey. You're just like, oh, I want to be something else now. Let's go do Honest that. Honestly, Viv, if you were a tank, the biggest thing that you're probably going to have to learn is to stop fucking wobbling around all over the place in 14, because that'll get you killed pretty goddamn quick. <laughs> yeah, just stand there and tank. Just stand and tank. If you're going to well, tank, just... World of Warcraft doesn't really punish tanks for or people for moving around a whole lot. Like, especially if you're a melee, you can kind of just tap A and D and strafe around and have a good time and not really do that really affect a lot of stuff literally one of the bosses that i'm fighting a lot like farming for stuff right now one of his mechanics is he puts a debuff on you if you move if you attack if you do anything you take like 80 percent of your health at damage it's you just hold still yeah We just kind of information dumped at you, Viv. I hope that was not overwhelming. Which is why I said pick something that sounds interesting and then you can always change later. Yeah. yeah. It, that is definitely the best way to go about it. Yeah. It's just pick pick something that doesn't sound like you'll hate it. And you can you can switch. And we can always help you make gear for whatever you switch. Like you don't have to worry about gear. You you know multiple Omni crafters. You you literally never have to worry about gear in your entire life ever. <laughs> I absolutely adore this game right now and I'm Italian, so I will talk your face off about it if you want. Yes. You'll talk, so you'll, talk you'll talk people's face off about most anything. Let's let's be mm -hmm. honest. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bibbity Bobbity. Maybe I, I mean, the first the first night I met him, he kept me out till like fucking two a.m. talking to me. So, at the Chipotle that you're still mad at me for eating at. Yes, because I feel so bad that you ate food you didn't like. Yet, how many times have I had Chipotle since then? To quote and the Golden Fantasia's Girls, to quote the Golden Girls, Dorothy, let it go. <laughs> Zunder, have you met me? Like, have have you met me? I don't know how to let anything go. Any Fantasias aren't that expensive, so, but yeah, I mean, that's a little bit more permanent and a little bit harder to switch. So that's the one that you can't just fix it later. Yeah, the, the old friendliness in 14, you kind of have to look at the individual jobs as your alts for it to to make sense as an alt friendly game because if you look at if you apply the same exact logic that you have for world of warcraft because you have to make a new character for every single class in world of warcraft and in if you did it that exact way in 14 it would be god awful oh god it's less friendly that way but mm -hmm. you don't need to do that no but in fact even the pricing system of how th how they charge your subscription encourages you not to do that. So Viv, after you've been babbled at by like four or five people, have you settled on a we okay, might have lost the character creator. <laughs> oh yeah, he's 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 moved on. He's gone. Bibbidi bobbidi. He's gone. He's done. Gone. Done. Whatever. Never to be seen again. Ooh, excellent choice. Nice. Aw, oh, wow. You will be one of a very uh Nope, extinct. sadly. You get to be a. You get to have the tail. Some of your uh, gear might hide it sometimes, though. So. Why would you Thanks. not want a tail? Okay, I want to see if this works now. I'm confused why why you wouldn't want a tail. I mean Viv, there is if that is what you want in life, there is 
adequate uh, transmog in the game to do a very good Lady Dimitrescu. Just putting it out there. That's also yeah. I've I've yeah, we've had that discussion I've before. I've seen it. <laughs> I'm I clearly okay. Never mind. I'm just gonna not get it over here. She is the nine foot six lady in uh, Resident Evil Eight. What does that have to do with not having a tail? Was, oh, the giant lady. The... Sorry, I missed that yeah. line. Yeah, gotcha. I was still on the no tail thing, and I was very confused. I, I oh, know, gotcha, I know who gotcha. the giant lady is. Oh, that's why I was confused because I, I missed that mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. trans tr transition. That's the word. Transition. Transition. Because I, I saw the big mommy as when I asked, why would you not want to tail? And that's, yeah. I'm good now. Why didn't it? Well, hold on a second. It is. Hmm. Are you, are you, did you actually, is it keeping track of how many yikes have been awarded? It's supposed it's to supposed be. It's supposed to. He, he asked if it was, not if it was supposed to. Yeah, right. It's supposed to, though. Yes, but those are two very different things <laughs> in programmer speak. I, I understand. Piff lizard. I'm back here. I need your tail. Well, Fiv doesn't want his. Maybe I can, like, make it into food well, or something. Well, short-tailed and no-tailed are two totally different things. That's very true. I, I do find it a little, and, and this is a night I don't pay much attention to any of the other Final Fantasy games, but I do find it weird that Viera don't have tails at all. Yeah. Well, they might. No, they don't. They don't have any at all. Um, I'm gonna try to award myself a yike. I hate that you, they can't wear hats. Yeah. Like they should have just a hole, hole in holes in the hat for their ears. It's not. I don't it's understand. A, uh, it's a sensitive topic for the people that like the Viera. I I like the Viera. What? I was a Viera before I became a um, a lizard babe again. Ooh, yay. I got a yike. Well, it it says that, but it's not keeping it. I don't know what's going on. Well, okay. maybe maybe it knows that those people don't deserve the yikes. What? I don't know. I don't know. So you'll get this working, and then you'll make a uh, channel point redemption for awarding yikes, right? No, 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 no. We need a channel point redemption for clearing yikes. That's true. That's true. I could probably both? do that at some point. Both? Hmm. How about both? Both. 4K Maybe. no los dos. Maybe. <laughs> both? Both sounds good. Just add it to the backlog. Uh, Let me see something. We'll refine it next Wednesday. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh -huh. Aha. I love that he's ignoring me. He's uh, not ignoring you. I'm not he's ignoring just you. saving his judgment for later. Oh, yeah, no, for sure. I, I think he just doesn't want to turn his, uh, make, make his stream agile. I do not want to make my stream agile. All right, where is... Who would be Scrum Daddy? No one. Mm. Not here. I mean, if your stream was agile, who would be Scrum Daddy? Um. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean... He's out of line, but he's right. Uh, I don't know if he's out of line. If for, if for no other reason, then we should nominate him for more responsibility while he's not here to defend himself. Oh, look, it didn't work that time. 
What the shit? Because you said yike, not yikes. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good point. Okay. Let's see. Do we have a yikes scoreboard? That's what he's working on. That's what I'm working on, yeah. Okay, all right. Viv, you have been awarded the first yike. Congratulations. How do we uh how do we see how many yikes we have? Um Let me put a This, this works. Ooh. Oh. All right, I'm going to have to keep fucking with this later because... We've gone over. We did too much? Yeah, I think so. Let me see. I wonder if I can make this a thing just really quick. See if this works. We're gonna do yikes count. Oh my god. Look at that. Wait, why am I on this list when I don't have any? It's default. It's this? it's it, just it default. Does say zero. It says zero. I know, but why am I the number two zero? That's not even it's, alphabetical it's, or it's anything. It's probably random. Oh, it's on a cooldown. Um okay, that's it. Yeah, we'll fuck with the yikes later. Yeah, we have yikes now. Um all right, so big yeah, big yikes. Ooh, I need to make a big yikes. Um, that'll award five. Um, so Friday we're doing um, the fork knives. Uh, Miss Alley Pup, you gonna be co-streaming with me again? That's the plan. That's the plan. We'll see. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll keep, make no promises. My life is a bit of a shit show right now. We'll keep our fingers crossed for you that life things calm down and you you feel you're still feeling good by the end of the week. Um, Sounds good. I like that. Uh, let's see what else. Um, Sunday. Tom's an asshole, so I'm playing boyfriend dungeon on Sunday because that's this week's you pick game. If you would like to pick the game that I play, save up those channel points. And you can choose what Game Pass for PC game that I play on stream. Um, oh boy, this is... Please pick something. Um, let's see, what else? Um, Monday we're back in 14. I'm going to keep trying to chip away at the um, Realm Reborn patch quest so that I can finally get to Heavensward. Um, so, fingers crossed. Uh, and that's you about... Do you have a goal of Heavensward, or is it... Do you have a goal like to get to Heaven's Word by a certain time? No. No. Just, I, just eventually. Ever. Someday. Ever. Someday. Someday. Uh, 
Fritz, I appreciate you being here, bud. You you have a good night. Viv, give it a give a like keep refreshing. It just keep refreshing. That happened to me on the yeah, first ew. night. Like the first when I tried to get in, it rotates. It rotates. So like as server bal load balances. It's like I think it's like every three minutes it updates, something like that. Yeah, it yeah. updates every three minutes. And if you're really having trouble tonight and you have a chance, try sometime, like if you have chance in the morning, just to like press the button because it'll save everything else. Yeah. That like off times might be an easier time than, um, you know, 10 p.m. on a night just because now everyone's home from work and making characters so that sounds about yeah, the right, problem yeah. is that every, like all, every single server is like this right now because of the because the influx like, of players so like every server is like this so you just kind of have to like try every three minutes and see sounds about right so because square didn't expect to get such a massive influx of players when they're in a lull i mean accurate yeah that'll happen all right we're gonna go see fire uh, we haven't seen him in a few days, so we're going to go give Fire some love. Raid calls in chat. Um, go be good to Fire. He's good people. We love him very much. Uh, and uh, I think that's about it. Um, did I miss anything? Uh, like, yes. We... You steal my thunder and shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. mm -hmm. <laughs> she got Whoa. you good, you fucker. <laughs> Don't forget to follow She's so that germ. Can... So he can give away his Game Pass chill Microsoft. That's right. Show. That's right. So he can give away his Love you, Game Vivian. Pass Microsoft chill. That's, that's, <laughs> she's not wrong. She's not fucking wrong. All right. Let's go, let's go see Fire and give him some love. We'll see y'all on Friday for Fortnite. Friday night, shooty fights. Y'all take care. Love your faces. Bye.